going back to this Remington 1187 20 gauge, actually a pretty good looking gun. Standard grade walnut, not fancy, but it's real, real walnut, steel receiver. Um, just the basic matte finish. I think Remington has upgraded their, their matte finishes over the last couple of years. This is a lot of gun for the money. What I like about it is that it's the softest shooting 20 gauge that I've ever tested. Now, I have not been a, a Remington 1100 or 1187 aficionado, but um, this is really a great gun for the money. You know, there's just no recoil. These are 15, 16 ounce B&P number seven loads, but you can just barely feel the action working. There's no pressure against my shoulder or anything. I mean, this is just a just a fun gun to shoot. I mean, just nothing. So it's the 1187 Sportsman Field. Lifetime warranty, and if you don't like recoil, this is the gun to go. It's six and three quarter pounds, a little on the heavy side for a 20 gauge, but you've got an all steel receiver, and it's uh, a lot lighter than Remington catalogs it at. Remington's uh, website shows it, at, I believe, uh, seven and a quarter pounds. It's uh, I believe uh, six pounds, 13 ounces. So it's really light, light enough to carry and absolutely soft enough shooting to break clays all day long. So I, I'm impressed with it, I really am. Remington's done their best. I mean, machining steel is a lot more time consuming than alloy. Um, Remington's about has done about everything they can to get the cost out of the gun. They still have nice fluidly checkering. The trigger guard, rather than the classic 1100, uh, the trigger guard is composite, meaning plastic, not aluminum alloy like you find in an 870 Wingmaster or a classic 1100. So uh, they've done what they can to try to get cost out of the gun. But it's certainly a pleasing gun. And if you don't like recoil, uh, or for your son, for your daughter, or whatever, I mean, you can always uh, cut the stock and add, uh, add, add spacers uh, underneath the recoil pad if you want a little, uh, a little cast and so forth, or, or even drop with tapered, uh, tapered spacers. An overlooked gun. The more I shoot this, really the more I like it. And it's really soft shooting even with ounce and a quarter, three inch loads. Good job by Remington. If you're talking about uh, value for the dollar at a 20 gauge, it won't break your wallet and absolutely it won't break your shoulder. So it's out in the sun and you can see it's actually, uh, it's got nice lines. Certainly not a thousand dollar stick of walnut or highly polished blue, but it's got nice lines and uh, it, it's, just, it's a handsome gun, um, especially considering the price point.